Now, Turkey and Syria are still reeling from the effects of the devastating earthquake that struck nearly two weeks ago. Rescue operations are still ongoing and humanitarian aid from around the world is pouring in. In a miraculous rescue operation, Turkish rescuers on Saturday pulled three people alive from the rubble in the southern province of Hatay after 12 days. This included a 12-year-old child. The three were buried for over 296 hours under the rubble. The child rescued uh, could not survive and died later. The rescue teams are still looking for survivors, but the numbers of those rescued alive has dropped to just a handful in the past few days. The death toll in Turkey alone has crossed 39,000, while the overall death toll stands above 45,000. <laughs> Meanwhile, in neighboring Syria, humanitarian aid donated by the European Union arrived on Saturday. The items, weighing around 50 tons, included clothing, tents, medical equipment and food. The aid initially arrived in Lebanon through a ship from Italy, after which it was taken to Syria. Now, Italy's charge d'affaires in Syria said that it was not the time to play politics and appealed to the international community to help people affected by the quake. So now it's not time to talk about politics because politics then create other problems. We need to join together. That's the real message that I will bring, uh, bring here from my government. Join all together, all the international donors, all the community, all the actors, all, also the people, to try to address this tragedy, which is a big tragedy. I, I have uh, spoken with the doctors that they came here, the Italian doctors. They went on the field and they told me that the situation is very, very, very dire, very, very, very very, very, very problematic. So now it's time to join together and to try to help who's been affected. Syria has reported more than 5,800 deaths. The United Nations said that over 9 million people in Syria have been affected and a $400 million appeal to help the country has been launched by the UN. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.